start the stream. I don't like this. I'm not liking this here. Uh, I, all I do, I was just sitting here minding my own business in YouTube. Now, Endor, the... Uh, what do I use? OBS Studio decided to start the live stream for me, which is ridiculous. Uh, but here we are. Hello to everybody. Uh... You know what? Unfortunately, this person. I uh, will see you later. I will do. I'll, and thank you to all the moderators. I appreciate your help. Like Hunter Haas, as always. Hello. Uh, and yeah, you know what? Uh, hello, NES addict. I just was able uh, via permission to upload my Sopranos video, uh, although it's pretty low quality. Uh, at least it was nice to be able to upload something. So that I'm getting the ball rolling here on that. Um, hello, Frankie eighty six. How's it going, D Dog? What's up? Blake Jesse, how's it going? It's a Costanza, welcome. It says, it's the L.A. Soprano. Wear a Soprano outfit during a live stream. No, I, I do have my autographed uh, sweet leather jacket. Uh, so maybe I'll wear my leather jacket on the next live stream. But it's pretty hot today uh, to where if I don't turn the air conditioning back on pretty soon, I'm going to start sweating profusely. So I think it's a Costanza. I'm not going to put on anything Sopranos related. Hello, Miss Virginia. No, all the way from North Carolina. I still have your hat uh, sitting on my desk over to the right there. I hope everything is going well uh, with Wyatt, your husband, uh, your dogs, everything. Cheers. Uh, and then you know what? Sammy Hagar and Bon Scott. Cheers. I just want and I just wanted to shoot the shit uh, and play some regular Super Mario Brothers from start to finish. Now I think after that I'll call it a day. Uh, and awesome Alex ten twenty eight yesterday. Uh, he, he told me a quote from Bob Ross, the great painter. And Bob Ross once said, The more we use our creativity, the easier it becomes. Uh, and I feel like I've been depriving myself from creating another L.A. Beast video. Um, so I don't know. I think tomorrow may finally be the day where I film this next video and get it done. So stay tuned. Now, Doris John says, uh, LOL Swamp Ass. Uh, definitely in high school, I would get Swamp Ass all the time to wear... Uh, I'd like if I was sitting next to a girl in class, for instance, I would always have to like wipe my butt across the seat, uh, as you said, so you couldn't see my swamp ass imprint on the chair. Matt Graves, welcome, says, cheers, beast. Congrats on the engagement. Thank you, Matt Graves. Uh, I am, in fact, off the market, everybody, as I am now engaged to get married sometime in the near future. Now, I definitely realized pretty fast that weddings can be expensive as hell. Fuck. Cheers, Matt Graves. Thank you, Jace Huddleston. Thank you, Jace Huddleston. I appreciate your kindness here today. And on that note, uh, let's start playing Super Mario Brothers. And you know what? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn the volume up because I can't hear anything. There's no way that you can play Super Mario Brothers without hearing... Oh, boy. Alright, uh, I just need to adjust. I don't even know how I'm going to do that. Oh, fuck. Crap. Uh... I need to adjust, I need to adjust the controllers, game, uh, other settings, configure, oh boy. I, I know I don't want to do that, other settings, power, uh, oh crap. Let me, let me, let me, let me think here, welcome all 280 of you, what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I'm using a Super Nintendo controller, but I believe right behind me uh, I have uh, a Nintendo controller. An NES Addict shirt would make this stream 100% legit, says NES Addict. I do still have your shirt, NES Addict. Um, hold on. The t-shirt that Chris Underwood gave me, uh, which says Instant reg Regret. Uh, it's actually a triple XL and it fits really nicely right now. Are you kidding me? Um, hmm. All right, so I, I have an entire box of controllers right here. Um, I just need to find the Nintendo one. This is not good. 
give me one second, one second, uh, and then I'll get back to the gaming here. Okay, uh, welcome back. I found a Nintendo controller, and hopefully that'll help. Hello, Louisa Lewis. Hello, Jim. How's it going? Says, Tetris is also awesome. Yes, uh, definitely after this game. Uh, we could definitely dick around playing some other games. Hello, Taco Meat. Hello, Mr. Slipknot. Triple Six says, imagine lot likening L.A. Beast. Imagine not liking L.A. Beast. There are plenty of people out there uh, that probably don't like me. And you know what? I'm okay with that because uh, not everybody's going to get along. And there are people out there that I don't like. So uh, who am I to get offended if people don't like me? Uh, I have nothing but respect for others. And that's the best I can do. Hello, Christopher Young, my ninja. Uh, I'm going to try. Hopefully, for the love of God, this can... Nice. Nice. I'm actually playing... All right, and so far, this is not going well. So, I just need to take a couple deep breaths, get my bearings straight, uh, and, and here we go. I wonder what year this came out. I think this came out, and I don't have no idea what year this came out. I know there's an extra life right here, uh, and if I can get this extra life and still get into the pipe, I think that's a positive thing. Uh, nope. All right, you know what? I guess I guess we'll try and make this uh, a speed run of sorts, but I also I want to try and get some extra lives as well. I suck. This controller this controller's a little bit difficult, but you know what? Excuses are the nails that build the house of failure, and I'm not going to make any excuses here today. Uh, I would definitely say when it comes to this game, the speed run. Uh, theoretically, you can only barely just beat the best time. It comes down to, like, fractions of a second. Like, people are ridiculous when playing this game. Uh, Bazkrid Inc. says, this is my shit. Um, hello, Cam H. How's it going? This is a great game. Uh, I just, I wish the controller was better. Alright. Are you kidding me? I guess I gotta, I just gotta adjust to however the controller is. I can go like this. Oh. I'm definitely missing a whole lot of secrets. I just missed a one-up. Okay. Oh, there we go. Hello, Tom Smith. How's it going? Who says, big fan. Uh, well, you know what? I could use a fan right now. Um, Tom Smith, because because the air conditioning is off, I'm starting to sweat already. Uh, anytime, NES Addict, who says, I'll be right back. Mr. Pico Boulevard says, Tony Soprano versus Tony Danza. Oof. Who's the boss versus Tony Soprano? I would say probably Tony Soprano would beat Tony Danza only because Tony Soprano is, is in the Mafia. Allegedly. So, I think Tony Danza was... Yeah, Tony Danza was just a housekeeper, Mr. Pico Boulevard, so... 
I think that answers that question. Man, this controller is awful. I think I just need to break it in. Yeah, I wonder if like a brand new Nintendo system back in the day, if the controllers had to be broken in or not. You suck, guy. Alright, you know what I'm going to do? You know what we're going to do? We're going to probably play a different game. Alright, screw it. I'm just going to go back to the other controller. Whew. MN Vikings fan, real as fuck TV says, damn. Uh... Damn indeed. Right, this controller is slightly better. So I'll take it. Does anybody have any suggestions? Maybe we'll just play some Family Feud or something. I just wanted to come on uh, and shoot the shit, but I thought it would be like an easy gameplay, just relaxing, and so far... I suck. So far, I suck. And you know what? Not so far, I suck. I just suck in general at this game. One minute slow-mo. Uh, how's it going? Awesome. Alex1028 says, sweet video today. Glad you're back for another stream this evening. Thank you. Awesome, Alex1028. Um, and you know what? I, I, I spent time editing that Sopranos video last week. And I just... Jesus. You know what? I just... Ah. I think we're gonna. I think we're we're gonna play a different game. Fucking. Okay, what game should we play next? Enough of this. Hello, David Fahey. David Fahey says, play some chess. I'm gonna turn the air conditioning back on. Welcome, all 457 of you. Uh, Zeno Bob, I appreciate your kindness here today. Zeno Bob, thank you. Uh, is it me or is there a slight delay? There's. I don't know. It depends. Like every now and then, somebody might say there's a slight delay, but the. Uh, up oh, here we go. There's no data. Uh, so I think from my end, yeah, there might be a slight delay. Good night. Good night, Macarena. I'll see you later. Brad Wallig says play Qbert. Qbert's a great game. Uh, Mr. Pika Boulevard says NBA Jam or NFL Blitz. I, d I definitely don't have NFL Blitz. If it's like a Nintendo or Super Nintendo game, I could play that. Uh, Qbert is a good game. So then, you know what? Let's play some Qbert. There's Tecmo Bowl. Oh. It's WWF. There's Wheel of Fortune. Wayne's World. Uh, let's see if we can find where the Qs are. QRS. There it is. I'll give Qbert a shot for Brad Wallig there. Dead Poop 420 says NBA Jam. Nail in the coffin. I'll, I'll play a game of NBA Jam next uh, after I show you how to play Qbert. Uh, I apologize for the air conditioning in the background. Oh boy. Uh, up. Right. Okay. Down, left. Alright, let's go. So, what you have to do, you have to, like, change the colors like this. Well. Oh, boy. I just, I want to, oh. Alright, this is so far. Let me. Let me get a different controller. Jesus! Okay, here we go.
Ah, all right, you know what? The third time's a charm. Uh, I have multiple different controllers here. Uh, here we go. Let's just try it. All right, this controller is, is much better. You know, I just, Jesus. Uh, Jeremiah, Jeremiah Neitz says, hey, bud. Love the videos. Thank you, Jeremiah. I will do my best in your honor to, to not screw up. I think we're going to play a different game, Jeremiah Neitz. Okay, great. What game, what game should we play next? Are you serious? I don't want to play this anymore. We are having technical difficulties here today. Tizify says Punch-Out. Punch-Out's a great game. I would play some Punch-Out. Edward, Scissorhands, Rogers, how's it going? Uh, yep, you know what? Let's just, uh, let's just restart everything. Maybe I'll just shoot the shit here for a second. Okay. Whew. I, I am sweating profusely. Um. Alright, I, I need to get my bearing straight. Hello, uh, breathe, e breathe Easy says, play Ninja Gaiden. I've never played Ninja Gaiden. It sounds familiar. Uh, I'm going to turn the air conditioning on here. Eddie, Eddie Boulon says play Mega Man. You know what? Growing up as a kid, I wish I played Mega Man more. Um, Contra is a great game. Hello, Dawson Akwu says greetings from Switzerland. Hope you are doing well. Your videos always make me burst out laughing. Keep it up and have a good day. Thank you, Dasan. I appreciate your kindness here today. Uh, Chris says scubin dubin if scubin dubin is a game uh i will play it oh it's gaiden thank you david bermudez it's gaiden not gaiden um josh sambria says play doom teenage mutant ninja turtle says marco um excite bike i played it some excite bike the last time all right let's see we are back in business i think if we pick a game uh, we have to continue to play that game unless I reset everything each time. Um, let's see here. Maybe I'll... Super Nintendo has better... There's ABC Monday Night Football. What do we got here? Um, Alfred Chicken, American Gladiators, Barbie Supermodel, Bassmasters Classic, uh, Sega, Sega is better, says Jack D's. Um, growing up as a kid, I didn't... I, I had a Turbo Graphics 16, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, N64, Bonkers. Um, oh boy, there's just so many games. Dennis the Menace, uh, Demon's Crest Demolition Man. Somebody, the, I've been seeing a lot of doom in the comments, so there we go. I'm just going to pour myself a beverage. Nice. Uh, and when it comes to playing Doom, this is from 1993. Uh, I'm probably not that good, but I'll give it a shot anyway. All right. Screw it. Let's play. Oh, boy. Kidding me? This is mm. 
How do I, how do I like, hit the guy with my gun if I have to? Like, it's not even moving. Jesus, these graphics are awesome. These graphics, like in my Sopranos video, uh, I think these graphics are a little slightly better than the ones I used. Okay. Is the music too loud? Okay. The music. Okay. I need a new controller. I apologize for the plethora of technical difficulties, sound settings. I gotta like move the sound down to like 75 so it's not blasting in everybody's ears. Uh, and now, I'll give it my best shot here playing Doom. All I've been doing is sweating and stuttering my words this whole, t whole time. I've not been able to get the ball rolling, but thank you all 524 of you. For still tuning in, like A. A says, play Gunstar Heroes, you are awesome beast. Well, thank you, A. I will definitely try some Gunstar Heroes uh, after I try and play Doom here. Uh, Guesser Senior says, great to see you streaming, homie. Love watching your stuff. Hope you and everyone watching is doing well. Guesser Senior, thank you. I, I appreciate it. I hope everyone's doing well as well. Let's play the game. Let's do this. Um, oh, there we go. I can fire the weapon. Alright, that can't be good. Oh, there's a vest. So, so far, all I've been doing is walking around. Just picked up a health bonus. Where are the guys to fight? It's not like zombies jump out at you. How the f what do I what am I doing? No. Does anybody know what the hell I'm doing? Don't stress, dude. You are doing a great job. Says Crimson Weenus. Uh, a Weenus, I believe. Is your elbow. Ah, you can strafe or strife. Alright, this is not fun for me. I'm pretty sure it's probably not fun for everybody watching me, so... I'm gonna give it 30 more seconds. If there's not a guy... Comes my way, then I'm not gonna play this game anymore. I just want to go through this door. How do I do that? Okay, great, 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 great. All right, we're gonna move on to a different game here. Use the door. How do I do that? Okay, great. Next game, ladies and gentlemen. This is Offending My Eye, says Pokey Phil. And again, you know what? Doom is a classic game. Um, and sure, that was that offensive gameplay on my part to everybody who can play Doom better than me? Absolutely. I will not disagree with that. Uh, Dima Cabrillan. Dima Cabrillan. Jesus. Hello, how are you, Dima? I appreciate your kindness here today. Um... Uh, Fur Furvine says, hey, Beast, can you shout out my girlfriend, Heather? Thank you. Uh, to Furvine, uh, to Furvine, Jesus. To Heather, this is the LA Beast. Uh, I need to whew, just take a deep breath, get my bearings straight. And you know what, Heather? 
we're going to kick ass on this live stream. So thank you for tuning in, quite possibly. Uh, Donkey Punch Out says Mr. Pico Boulevard. Okay. If Donkey Punch Out, like Earthworm Jim, I remember, but I was never very good at it. ESPN Speed World. F Zero is F Zero is a great game, but I played that already. Family Feud, we can come back and play. Um, Final Fantasy, great game. Uh, let's see here. Didn't somebody say Frogger? No. This is not great. I didn't even. I, I wanted to play Frogger, but we didn't even. Okay. I like the graphics, whatever this game is. Oh my god. The war against Guy Gas. Earthbound, the war against Guy Gas. Okay. Well, let's start a new game. Let's take it slow. Mono. Whatever. Come on. I don't want to play this game. Alright, this is a super long RPG. That is not what I wanted to do. You know what? Let's play some Home Alone. Thank you, everybody, uh, for watching me scroll through, trying to pick a game here. Hello, JF. How's it going? Nicole, Casino, uh, welcome. Telly Savalas, welcome back, says, eat the game. I might I might start eating the game pretty fast here, out of frustration. All right, let's, let's start. Great to be out of the slammer, Harry. You said it, Marv. Did you round up the gang? Are we ready? I fixed everything. What about the, the brat? Is he home alone? Not for long. Ha ha. I've been waiting for a long time for this. All that stuff. Jewels, VCRs, TVs, uh, and toys. I want that kid's toys. Alright, so... Okay, great. We are playing Home Alone, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Ian H. Uh, nice. I'm going to need that. How do I get that jewel? All right. All right, so I can jump on the bed. I have 10 slingshot. I have no BBs. I just wasted. Okay. So that's jump. I can collect different weapons. This is pretty interesting here. I need that, but who the hell is this guy? I mean, it's a pretty, pretty interesting game, I guess, but, like, what's the point of this? I thought, like, the robbers were going to be, like, jumping into... This doesn't even look like Kevin McAllister's house. Who are those guys? All right, so let's go downstairs. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. 
Maybe I'll just maybe I'll just answer some questions. Hello to Cohen Seven Ten. How's it going? Third Martian says, "WTF? WTF? Indeed. What is this? What? I might just play a game of Ken Griffey Jr. baseball because I know how to play that, and it's fun to me." Uh, there is no point, says David Fahey, to this game. Uh, probably not. Probably not. Uh, Rat Boy says, Bees, could you play NES baseball? Well, well you know what? Rat Boy, uh, even though it's not NES baseball, it's Ken Griffey Jr.'s baseball. Uh, I might play a game of Ken Griffey Jr. baseball just to get into the groove of things here. And then maybe we'll play a game that we can all play together. Um, Lorraine Fisher says, Gina... Uh, Gina, some religious game, save souls. Gina, some religious game, save souls. Is that a tongue twister, Lorraine Fisher? Are you still here? Uh, let's just shoot the shit. This is William Garvey. Uh, indeed. Uh, touche. Maybe, maybe me playing a game is not the best thing today, but uh, I'm, I just want to play one game of Ken Griffey Jr. Baseball, and then we can shoot the shit. How about that? Uh, Dasan Akwu says, first ever donation. Hope this helps, Beast. Have a good day. Thank you, Dasan. Uh, I appreciate your kindness here today. It does. Uh, it does help. You know, and you know what? Just even though my last video uh, doesn't uh, suit everybody's fancy here, uh, just by tuning in, uh, thank you. That means a lot as well. Uh, I see you, Dima Cabralin says, Beast, you are the absolute best. Please do a party video where you chug a 40 old English. And we live yo pody years. A funnel makes it easy. Love you, man, says Dima. Uh, quite Well, definitely, you know what? Would I... Oh. You said, please do a party video. I don't think YouTube would allow me... Uh, like, the video would get removed and deleted from YouTube. And quite possibly, I might receive a strike for, like, chugging alcohol. But uh, whenever I do go to a party at my friend's house, uh, they live right near a bodega. And I do get old E40s. And St. Ides. A nice St. Ides or Old English 40. Uh, it's great to sip on at a party. Dima. The Cone 710. Hello. Says, yo, disgusting. Thank you for the super chizat. It's 24 past the hour. And remitting it fits is a lady. And I sauntis you an email. And Sil was best soprano and Cone greats engage. And what Tacone 710 meant was, uh, I super chatted him in his uh, live stream earlier today. It's 24 past the hour, to which means he's probably going to puff, puff, pass, and dab. Uh, Random Misfits is a lady. Uh, he sent me an email, to which thank you, I appreciate it. And Sil, or Silvio Dante, was the best on The Sopranos. And he says, congrats on the engagement. Uh, just in case uh, anybody couldn't understand what Tacone 710 just typed. Uh, goodbye, Dead Poop 420. Dead Poor Food. Dead Jesus. Dead Poop 420 is going live. If anybody wants to go, head over there. Uh, it's Dead Poop and his bo his boys. Uh, just hanging out in the garage, like shooting the shit, drinking beers. Uh, he also has cool stuff in the background. Uh, I'll send people his way. Let's see here. Dead. Dead. Poop. 420. Nice. He's live. Chill out with my drinks out. If anybody wants to stop by, if you have a drink, hang out in the garage with Dead Poop 420. There you go. Um, unfortunately, we can't. Again, when it comes to religion and politics, not happening. Uh, boom. There you go. Screw this. Play some, let's play some Jeopardy. How about let's just play a game of Jeopardy? Screw it. Uh, and the last time I played Jeopardy, you have like 30 seconds to answer each question, and I, I definitely have my Google Windows open. Uh, there is a delay in the chat, so um, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can play some, some Jeopardy right here, right now. Thank you. Uh, Third Martian says, I'm doing great. Okay, uh, RIP Alex Trebek. Uh, we have one player play against the computer. Yes. Um, okay. 
That's it. Done. Right. Okay. Ah, here we go. This is probably an, this is this is totally inappropriate. Okay. Nice. All right, let's play. Let's play some Jeopardy. Hello, Kanik. How's it going? Uh, this is going to be ridiculous. Thank you, Hunter Haas. I appreciate it very much. Uh, Robert Perdue, how's it going? These are all the subjects, the Oscars. Uh, if you want a different set of categories, then press the select button now. I do not. Uh, food for 100. Part of a carrot that's eaten as a vegetable. I don't know. This is not good. Yep. Tits McGee, Mr. Pico Boulevard. What is a taproot? This is going to be a long day. Uh, and as William Garvey said, maybe we'll just end up shooting the shit. In 1984, Better Homes and Garden Survey found it was the type of pasta eaten most often. Uh, does anybody know the type of pasta that's eaten the most often? Um, spaghetti. I don't want, I don't want to fucking play this game. This is, this is, I don't want to type back and forth. Spa. If I get this right, we're going to stop playing this game. Spaghetti for the win. Oh, shit. Darn it. The answer was spaghetti. Ah, fungool. So I guess we have to keep playing here. Uh, Hang in there, beast, says William Garvey. Ah, fun. Okay, du daily double. Um, hmm. Of fish, eggs, unopened flower buds, or animal fat globules what capers are what is a caper a fish eggs unopened flower buds or animal fat globules what capers are okay jesus uh okay great uh caviar oh boy no 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 buds oh fuck Flower buds, flower, caviar, <laughs> caviar, okay. You shit, are you shitting me? Ah. Oh! That's, en that's enough Jeopardy for today, ladies and gentlemen. I'm playing one game of Ken Griffey Jr. Major League Baseball, and then and then I'm done. And then we're not going to play any more games here today. Hey. Oh, Jesus, this has not gone my way. And that's okay. Sometimes, sometimes you have a bad day when live streaming, and this is one of those days. Uh, as Grand Scheme says, love your channel, brother. Oh. I have a 1989 Batman cereal with the Batman bank. Laugh out loud. Uh, for my like expired cereal video that I did, I still have my Batman box uh, in the bank as well. Um, and like LA Beast fans, some LA Beast fans have sent me like Batman cards. Uh, these are my favorite. These are like 1989 Batman trading cards. Uh, and I went up to Maine to visit my grandmother and like bought a pack of these back in the day. Uh, so yeah, heck yeah. Nice. Done. I'm just going to play one game of this because I enjoy playing this. I haven't played it in a while. No, thank you everybody for bearing with me. Um, no, let's just play, let's play a nice, simple, easy going game. Uh, one player here. Uh... I'll play. You know, I think the 
the Toronto Blue Jays may have been the World Series champion, so I'm going to play with them. Uh, let's play, play against the Florida Marlins. Nice. Uh, this is a good game, says Chris Underwood. It's a decently good game. I, I like the graphics for the 1994 year. It's just a fun, playable, good game. Hitting dingers, having fun. Okay. Shh. This is... All right. Uh, totally spazzed out there. Oh. <sighs> I got this. Oh, shit. <sighs> Zizi. Oh. Just stay right there. Boom. I feel I can get out of this inning uh, without them scoring any runs. I have no doubt that that's going to happen. All right, play it first. We got to play it first. Oh, that that was not great. Hello, Nicholas Rivera. How's it going? Uh how are you doing today, Beast? I'm doing I'm doing okay. I think oh, I think I'm just in my own head. I think if you think too much, stop thinking. If you if you start stressing out, stop thinking, and then then you're gonna make plays just like that. So, uh, and and fair enough. Are we delayed here in the action? Probably. Uh, so I'll stop talking. Yeah, we're totally delayed here. Bring on some punch out, says Awesome Alex ten twenty. Awesome Alex ten twenty eight. All right, I'm I'm gonna see this game through. I have a feeling it's gonna be a, a decently short game, most likely. <clears throat> Thank you again, William Garvey. Uh, Plast Plastric says, thank you for the signed print you sent me. I did frame it also for you on the new video. You are the only bigger Sopranos fan than me. Did you get it monetized? Uh, Plastric, no. The The most recent video with the Sopranos is not monetized because, uh, like the song, Living on a Thin Line by the Kinks, and then Three Times a, Ladies, uh, Three Times a Lady by the Commodores uh, was used in that video, so... And then plus I use like snippets from the Soprano show. Uh, but as I uploaded the video, like I, I turned off the monetization uh, to be 100% totally in compliance. And I think the, the owners of those music are in fact collecting royalties from any AdSense on my most recent video. And uh, if you think I'm a big Sopranos fan, uh, there are a lot of other Sopranos fans as well. After like going to these conventions, they're like, Thousands and thousands and thousands of bigger Sopranos fans than me. And, and quite possibly you, Plastric. This is anybody's game here. I just need to get in the vicinity and like not spaz out with my hands. And I can make some plays. Somebody said, man, F YouTube says copium. You know what, I, I disagree with YouTube on a lot of things, but if you use copyrighted music and stuff, I just, I did that, this last video, just out of passion for the show, The Sopranos, so. I do not mind having it not being monetized. And yes, it was pretty cool acting with David Proval. David Proval played Uncle Richie. He was in The Shawshank Redemption, which in my opinion is like a pretty iconic movie. So yeah, to get to act and like hang out and drink and smoke cigars with like cast and like a actors and actresses from like mob movies is it's pretty cool. It's a unique experience for sure. That's a good hit. Have I seen Game of Thrones? Says Josh Sanabria. No. No, I think besides like one or two episodes tops, I never really got into the Game of Thrones. Wow. 
That was clutch. Do I like fuzzy socks? Says Jacqueline Valencia. Um. I like new socks. I think everybody should treat themselves to new pairs of socks every couple of months for sure. Because when you have like a, like a new pair of shoes with a new pair of socks, like your feet feel like you're walking on clouds. Um, so don't forget to buy new socks. Okay, this is... This is where I'm going to be. <sighs> See, if you have the bases loaded, then you can just bunt and just like keep scoring runs. And that I was trying to do that just then to at least tie the game. Uh, I'm back. Somebody's back. My socks have holes in the heels right now. This is awesome, Alex1028. Uh, we'll get them fixed. Just or just go buy a pair of socks. You can totally do that for cheap. Uh, go on the deep web and download "Sad Satan Game." Says Lorraine Fisher. You know what? I think I'm okay. I don't. I, like, I don't want to go on the dark web. Period. End of sentence. So that's where I guess that ends for that. Or you know, you said the deep web. I'd rather just stay on the surface of the web, uh, specifically Lorraine. Because there's, uh, there's a lot of probably crazy shit I don't want to see. So, uh, although I appreciate the suggestion, there's actually a game called Leisure Suit Larry. Like, this, like, playboy guy who would, like, go around and, like, do crazy shit. Uh, I would try and find a copy of Leisure Suit Larry and I'd play that. Uh, and if anybody knows if it's available for Nintendo or Super Nintendo, I'll play it. But I think it was just a computer game. Uh, Excellence in Recycling says, Beast, love you, buddy. Now, thank you, Excellence in Recycling. I can keep playing here. Um, recycling is important. And and the great thing about copper, to which I'm invested in copper mines, uh, is that copper can be recycled. Uh, and there's going to be a lot a lot needed uh, for like electric vehicles. And I'll stop talking about copper. That sucks. I'm going to turn the air conditioning on. Kanik says you can buy a dolphin on the deep web. Inter interesting. Leisure shoot, leisure, leisure suit showing your age. Laugh out loud, says Steve, Steve Clement. You know what? Just throw, just pitch the ball. I would definitely say uh, back when like America Online had chat rooms. Yeah. I used to go into the chat rooms and I'm like, would anybody let me download for free Leisure Suit Larry? And this is like back in 95, 1995, 1996. Um, so you know what? It's okay. 37 years old. I feel like I'm not terribly old, but growing up as a kid, yeah, I used to play computer games. And I would say like one of the games surprisingly I was good at was SimCity 2000 by Maxis. Come on, you shitbag. Like, I enjoyed playing uh, SimCity 2000 more so than just playing The Sims. Uh, Bud Fox says, reported to the FBI. What specifically are you reporting to the, the FBI, Bud Fox? Uh, Robert Purdue says, I used to play Larry on PC. Uh, I was shit at it. He always died. Leisure Suit Larry is a great game. I, I think they should bring it back for sure. Uh, or at least make it available on like PlayStation 5. Andrew Alexander says, hi, Beast, long time, no talk to, hope all is well. Uh, it's going okay, Andrew Alexander. Um, yeah, you know what, I, 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 for the past four days now, I've gotten on the elliptical machine. Uh, I've done like roughly 800 to 1,000 rows on the rowing machine on average. Uh, and I started like lifting weights a little bit, so can't complain. I think exercise, okay. Exercise, uh, getting the blood flowing, uh, really g g gives you a jump start to the day. 
And you know what? The the one investment that I made recently, I bought myself a scale. Uh, and like I woke up this morning, I was 278 pounds. Uh, and then I, I went to the bathroom, I took a, a dump. Uh, and then I was 276 pounds. And then after working out, got all the way down to 272 pounds. But by the end of the night, I'm probably going to be back up to 278 pounds. So do I need to eat healthier? Probably. Do I need to exercise more? Most likely. As Brad Wallig says, exercise is great. <laughs> it is. And striking out, striking out this guy is also great by doing this. Okay. Uh, what year would I relive? What year would I relive, says Jacqueline Valencia. That's a good question. Um, I would say I would relive, I would either relive 2010, no, well, yeah, I was going to say, well, I'm just thinking about which companies like Amazon, if I can go back in time and like invest in Amazon, would I do it? Yes. Uh, like during the dot com boom in the, like the early 2000s. Maybe I'd go go back to, to there and invest some money. Uh, but just as far as like going back and reliving years that I had fun in life, uh, I would say like my high school years, back from 98 to 2002, I wouldn't mind going back and, and reliving the good old days in high school. So there. I've not zipped my wiener in my zipper. I can only imagine how bad that would not feel good. Uh, Mr. Pico Boulevard would go back and relive the year 1492 when Ocean, Columbus sailed the ocean blue. I'd relive the year 17, you know, fair enough. If I had to go back and relive a year 1776 and I would witness the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Uh, and then I would start collecting like gold coins and silver coins and shit. And then saving it for like 300 years. Uh, and then selling it all online. So pretty much my motives for going back and reliving uh, years from the past would be to for financial gain, which is not, that's not the right way to go about thinking about things. Nice. Uh, Bud Fox would go back to the year 1300. And you know what? Am I getting my ass kicked right now? Absolutely. <sighs> you know, this is a jam that I can totally get myself out of. Uh, and if you don't believe me, I will show you. Come on. Keaton, Keaton Miller would go back to year one. I don't know about that. You know what? I think if I can go back to a year, I'd go back to 2010... Uh, and invest money into Tesla. That's what I would do. Uh, the Toronto Blue Jays should be the best team in this game. Have a good day, BPZ. Please drop. Please drop in there. Nice. I can do this. Okay, no, no. Let's see if I can pull this off here. Okay. I think I can get two runs here. Am I being am I being cheap right now getting these runs like this? Probably. Drop in there for a base hit. All right, now we're gonna go on a run. Let's see if I can pull this off to tie the game. Whew. 
This is bad. Uh, have I ever eaten? Have I ever eaten beanie weenies? No. Oh, are those hot dogs with beans? Hello, revoked. How's it going? Oh, this is not great. Studio Fifty Four Days says Nick Hernandez. Okay, is that what a beanie weenie is? Is that some sort of psychedelic? That's not good. I've been a fan since the video you made eating a hissing cockroach. Says Ma KCC. Uh, well then, thank you. That's you've been a fan since 2013 or 2014 uh, when I collaborated with fellow YouTubers, Reckless Eating. Um, so thank you. I appreciate your long time support. Uh, then you want would I eat a live hissing cockroach again? Yes, but I just wouldn't do it here on YouTube. Um, during a live stream, I tried to eat a hissing cockroach, and then like the live stream shut down. And then I had no access to my, my channel because YouTube gave me a community guideline strike. What the hell? No, oh, not even close. Random misfit is a lady boy, says the Cone 710. Don't worry, uh, this game will be over soon enough. Um... Eat my shorts challenge said says Arthur Brandon Burnside. So then that would be the Bart Simpson challenge because Bart Simpson used to say Eat my shorts. Also, I guess the guy from the Breakfast Club uh, told the principal, he's like, Eat my shorts. And he's like, That's another one, Bender. And that's where he kept getting like more detentions. Um so Bart Simpson and Bender from The Breakfast Club have said that. Here's a home run. Okay, I'll take it. Making a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. Um, take it. I think I can win the game. Come on. Cole Coupland says, call him the comeback kid. You know what? It's possible. Safe, safe, safe. All right, I'm out. Um, Peter... Peter Dosvik, welcome back, says, love your content, man. Your willpower is a true inspiration. Have a good day. Now, well, you know what, Peter? Uh, I definitely need some more willpower as we're playing uh, this game right now. I'm pretty sure all the games that I've tried to play thus far have not been showcasing uh, the best of my best. So I need to, to dig deep here, gather up some willpower, and figure out how to get this win. Um, hmm. Can I put in the new guy? Oh no. Come on. Just trying to change the picture, but like the uh, on the, the moderator or the simulator thing here, it's not working. No. 
beast, you are going to pull it off. It says, or you're going to pull it out. Am I, am I going to pull it out? What do you, am I going to, am I going to get the victory? Probably not, because I can't figure out how to change the picture here, which is not good for me. Probably not. All I want, all I'm trying to do is change the picture here. All right, there we go. We got a new picture in there. New picture in there, and we got a home run. <sighs> Kanik says, always pull out. I would say always, I would definitely always use protection. Why are you Toronto if you're American, says David Toki. Like, why, why can't an American play as a Canadian team? I don't see why that's an issue. Um, and the reason why I chose Toronto is I believe this game came out in 1994. Uh, and the Blue Jays may or may not have been the World Series champions. So, that's why I picked this team. No, but apparently the team I played, or the Florida Marlins, are also great uh, as I'm losing. As you can clearly see by the score. I could play SimCity 2000 for Super Nintendo. We can try and build a city together, or maybe maybe we'll just I'll shoot the shit here. Blackjack Thompson is just a happy camper. Well, then you know what? If, if you're happy, I'm happy. Seriously. Darren says 94 is a great... Wasn't there no world... There was no World Series in 1994. Maybe it was 95. There was definitely a strike. Maybe the, maybe the Blue Jays won the World Series in 93 and then... No World Series 94 and everybody came back 95. Something like that. All right. There we go. Oh, here we go. Grand slam time. You know, it's bunting time. We're going to bunt in the runs. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Let's do this. You know what? A victory is a victory. Ooh, no matter how you want to look at it, a victory is a victory. And have I won yet? No. Am I making a sweet comeback right now? Yes. Maybe I'll just swing the bat. Here we go. Oh. Come on. All right. There we go. 
Uh, not easy. Not easy regaining the lead by being a ch cheap fuckhead. Okay. Can I hold the lead? That's the question. What do I think of Mr. Beast says help on the way? Honestly, good for him. All I know is that he gets a lot of views on his videos. I don't particularly watch his videos, but keep up the good work. And that's it. I really don't. I couldn't tell you what I think of him. That's not good. Oh no, the chat was disconnected. This is not this is not great here. Um. All right, we the, the chat disconnected there for a second. I don't know why. All right, we can do this. Play at home. Stay. Stay. Let's get a double play. Double play. Double play. Stay. Hello. Take it. I'll take it. Two more innings, dude. You got this. Oh, I need to take a second here. Uh, Plastric says, JS, I'd wipe the floor with your YouTube pals and Sopranos trivia, uh, but you got me beat in the cannoli contest, so that's something also. I got a raise today, so here's my money. Do you remember my letter in all caps? Well, you know what? Fair. When it comes to Sopranos trivia... Uh, again, there's a lot of people who are very knowledgeable about the show, uh, like with the quotations, like during the quotation rounds, uh, I always get it mixed up who says what. So yes, there, there are probably bigger Sopranos fanatics out there than me, but I do love the show. Um, I, I am competing. If anybody is in Atlantic City, July 24th and 25th at Harrow's Casino, I'm going to be doing a cannoli eating contest. So uh, get your tickets for Mob Movie Con or not. Because I'll, I'll just be there, and maybe I'll see you. Uh, but thank you. Plastic, I appreciate it. Uh, Mont Weezers 2000 says, what is up, LA Beast? Uh, not much Mont Weezers. I'm actually uh, going to attempt to try and win this game here. Home run. Double. Please get a double. Not even close. That was a very, very long single. Hello, Brett Glasso. How's it going? You know what? Screw it. Okay, no, that was a strategic move. And now we're going to do this. Stay, stay. <sighs> Leave the gun, take the cannoli, says William Garvey. You know what, The Godfather, The Godfather 2, those are great movies to watch on a lazy weekend. Um, yes. And again, thank you, Mont Weezers 2000 for your kindness. Uh, I will score this next run. In your honor. Oh. Hello. Uh, hello, sick box. Eric Schaefer, how's it going? I deserve that. I deserve it. You can do it, says Ben Vincible. Well, you know what, Ben Vincible? Uh, a lot of my runs uh, have been for me bunting, so I can do it. I feel like I can do it. A win is a win. 
Uh, great play, says David Fahey. Thank you, David Fahey. Um, Eric Schaefer says, Beast, can you tell a story on the time you fought with one of the PBR guys from your old job, please? Um, I can. Yeah, pretty much I just, I worked in Brooklyn. I've worked, worked in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, Coney Island, Bay Ridge. Uh, but when I worked in Bay Ridge specifically... Uh, I was like, I was the Budweiser representative. Uh, there was a guy who represented, represented Heineken. There was a Coors Light guy. And then there was a guy who just simply would, he would go to every grocery store uh, and just like throw up these bullshit displays of Pabst Blue Ribbon. Uh, and this guy, he was like an older guy and he had like a fingernail that had like, it was like bruised always. And like, he was just a piece of shit. He would, he like, he would take my stuff down, like my displays, uh, and like bury it in the basement, and just like put up his PBR displays. So every time I would see his PBR displays, uh, I would go get a U-boat. I'd take his display down, uh, and then like I would like put it in boxes and like hide his stuff and like bury it under pallets of other shit, like in the produce, uh, in like the basement. Uh, and I'd put my display back up, and yeah. That's pretty much pretty much what we would do, me and the PBR guy. But the Heineken guy, his name was John the Ripper, uh, and he used to like take my six pack holders and he'd rip the handles. So then, like, if, if the handle was ripped, it would be taken off the store shelf, put in the back room. Uh, and yes, we got into a verbal altercation. I caught him taking my stuff out of the cooler, and I walked around the corner, and I'm like, "What the fuck are you doing, pal?" And he's like, "What the fuck are you doing? Don't talk to me like that." And I'm like, "You, yeah." I was like, "You piece of shit," and like. Uh, we were arguing in a Rite Aid, uh, like a drugstore, and this old lady complained, like filed a complaint against both of us, and we both got thrown out of the store. Um, but yeah, like working in the beverage industry, fighting for shelf space, fighting for displays at the front of the store, uh, people have in fact got it, gotten into fist fights. Uh, it's very competitive, more so, in my opinion, than YouTube. YouTube is a competitive place, but... Uh, I've learned to deal with YouTube by, by working for this beer company in the past. Uh, so there, hopefully that was a story. Eric Schaefer, Logan Westberg says you were very cool. I'm just a, you know what? I, I wouldn't say that I'm very cool because I'm sweating right now. Uh, if that's a home run, then you know what? I am pretty damn cool. I'm pretty cool. Logan Westberg, I'll take it. But, again, nonetheless, I'm still sweating. I'm probably going to have to turn the AC on pretty soon. Nice. All right. Just goes to show. I bet they're going to take the pitcher out now, most likely. You know what? I'm going to bunt my way back to the the top of the order. Have a good day. Uh, Ma KCC, have a good day. I'll right back at you. That sucks. Come on! Come on! Sorry for screaming. Hello, and again, you know what? Thank you all, 642 of you, for still being here, watching this mediocre gameplay of retro games. That was a sweet strike on my part. I actually want to start playing Wiffle Ball. Uh, I did play in a middle-aged man's softball league this year, but uh, the way that the pitchers can, like, cause a wiffle ball to like twist and turn and like curve and everything uh, i think it'd be pretty interesting to join a wiffle ball league catch the damn ball find a nickel for every time you say i'm sweating i'm going to turn on the ac says hunter haas you'd be a rich man No. Come on. 
Sergio Vega says, never heard of you, but I just saw you eat a cactus. Wild. Sergio Vega, uh, I am the LA Beast. I've done professional competitive eating in the past. I've attempted and achieved Guinness World Records titles for food and drink, but also for walking barefoot on Lego bricks. Uh, I once ate a cactus in front of 20,000 people in Philadelphia for Wing Bull. Um, let's try and make entertaining videos to distract people from a messed up world. So that's who I am in a nutshell. Sergio Vega as I win the game. Not bad. Not a bad win. That was a great comeback win. I'll take it. A win is a win is a win is a win is a win. Uh, Matt Jump says, why isn't the AC on already? Because I had one more inning to go and I felt like the, the AC was going to distract me. Am I sweating? Yes, I am. Absolutely. Uh, I am. So what do we do now? I could play some Tecmo Bowl. I could play some Mike Tyson's Punch Out. But Brandon Collins says, never heard of you. What is that guy hibernating or something? Years and years and years of awesome videos. Hey, you know, like one of my good friends that I've known for over 30 years now. Uh, I think he's, he's only seen two of my YouTube videos. Out of all 300 of them. So... Uh, yes, my, my very best friend doesn't really even know who I am here on YouTube. I know, William Garvey, uh, you just want me to shoot the shit, fair enough. That's a, that's a decent suggestion. Chit the chat. Tech Mobile, Paper Boy. Um... Maybe maybe I'll play one game of chess master and, and then call it a day. I feel like I feel like after this victory, even though I did it like a cheap sob, I'm, I'm feeling it right now uh, to play at least one game of chess. I notice I notice you, Michael 05. How's it going? Did you graduate in the year 05 from something? Uh, Orbis Sebro Orbis Sebro says, "My man, don't let that dweeb undermine your accomplishments." Quite, quite honestly, I don't mind uh, if people don't like me. I don't mind if people have no idea who I am. Uh, exactly. The world does not revolve around me, just like it doesn't anybody else. So um, so that, so there's that. It doesn't, doesn't bother me whatsoever. Um, play chess. Uh, I'll, play, I'll play one game of Chess Master. How about that? I don't know if it's Chess Master or The Chess Master. Chess Master, comma, The. Uh, Lulu King. Hello, Lulu King says, Greetings from Germany. You're an absolutely legend. Or you're an absolute legend. Thank you, Lulu King. I'm just a regular human being, just like anybody else. Uh, and you know what? I would say, without... Ah! Fair. I would say prior to YouTube, I demonstrated my ability to do ridiculous, crazy things. I just never filmed it and or uploaded it for people to watch. So fair. And you know what? I, I would say there, there's, there's that one group guy from every every group of friends um, that that's like a legend in the group. And like I was that guy for my group. So fair. But but are there other legends out there? Absolutely. Uh, I'm going to pause for one second, right here, right now, just to say hello.
Sorry, I'm just I uh, was saying hello to my girlfriend, fiance. Just saying hello to my fiance. Officially, I don't know why the music is so loud, but let's. All right, well let's jump right into it. Last time I switched. We're gonna find out whether or not I'm playing on like the the hardest level. That's not good. That's is that not a checkmate? I think that's a checkmate. I think I just got fucking effed. I don't even want to hit the button. Okay. Great. Excellent. Great game. Great game, ladies and gentlemen. Great game. Jesus. That may have been the fastest game of chess I've, I've ever played. Jeez. Uh, Ace Air Light 125. Ace Air Light 125 says, Loving these live streams. Have a good day. Uh, thank you, Ace Air. I appreciate it very much. And like to everybody who's tuned in the past three days, thank you. Again, it would be nice. It would be nice if I felt, uh, just, just felt the flow tomorrow and just film this next video. No, and you know what? It's a, it's a nostalgic video in a way. I'm, I'm, I'm eating crazy things from when I was younger, and uh, I think it'd be a great video if I could just get it done. So I hopefully tomorrow I'll film my next video. Ace Air Light, one two five. Uh, Craig Gosby says, bring back Texas Tang Doritos. I've never had Texas Tang Doritos, but, uh, fair. You know what? Start a campaign. I would say if you are passionate about a product that a company, uh, has once had, don't be, I would say the best way to contact your favorite company or brand is via Twitter. Uh, I, I've received the most amount of responses via Twitter, uh, and or social media for that matter. Uh, so re reach out, I guess Doritos is owned by Frito-Lay and Frito-Lay is a partner of Pepsi or something like that. So maybe reach out to PepsiCo, Frito-Lay, see what they say. Let me, uh, I don't, I don't know what this setting is. Okay, well, you know what? I just want, I want to get out of here. What the hell? What's happening? Uh, I thought I lost... What is happening here? Uh, does anybody know what piece I can move? Okay. I don't. I, I don't want to do this anymore. Damn! How am I still alive? Says Ryder R. Uh, a lot of exercise, breathing, mowing the lawn. Mowing the lawn is great exercise for me. Getting fresh air. Uh, I don't do crazy LAB videos on a daily basis. I try and eat a, a decent diet. Uh, again, with the alcohol, I could definitely reduce that a lot uh, to where I drop a, a lot of pounds. New game, restart. Okay. <sighs> okay, great. Dakota 710 says, forgot to tell you, one of my new bucket list places to metal detect is right by you in New Jersey, Cape May Beach Bunker. Interesting. Cape May is probably about uh, two hours south from where I live. It's kind of like right near... You know what? Cape, Cape May may be three hours away. It's like the most southern tip of New Jersey. 
But I've been there once in my life. Alright, I'm a newcomer too. Let's see if I can beat the chess master as a newcomer. Hello, Colin Prindel. Prindle. How about check, motherfucker? Uh, and you know what? I'm probably not going to win. Because I suck. No, nope, we're just going to we're going to restart the game here. We're going to restart the game and start it again. <sighs> All right, newcomer. We'll play as newcomer too. Okay, Jesus, just hit the thing. There we go. Uh, quick game says David Fahey. Think it through. You can do it. You got it. Says R. Hughes. All right, I got it. I gotta stop doing that. We're gonna we're gonna put the air conditioning on. Pour myself a beverage. Ryan Vrabel, go Cubs, indeed. Um, and again, Craig Gosby says bring back uh, the Texas Tang Doritos. Um, I was gonna say bring back from the movie Home Alone the. The pizza chips that they had by Keebler. And also, Planters should bring back uh, PB Crisps, which was a great peanut butter snack as well. Uh, Danny. Danny D1199 says, Hey, Beast, you did a cameo for my nephew about a year back. He loved it. Figured I'd pass it along. Uh, well, thank you, Danny, and to your nephew as well. Thank you for your continued support. Yeah, heck yeah. That, you, that you'd stop by. And paid it forward. And you know what? That, that's that's one thing that everybody should do for another human being is pay it forward. Uh, and I, I've done it. I, I've taken people out to like a steak dinner. Like when I could barely afford it. Now, because you know what? My, my good friend took me out to a steak dinner. And he paid for the whole thing because I, I wasn't making that much money. But I did. He's like, pass it along. And I did. To another co-worker a couple years later as well. So always pay it forward. Pass it along. I just spilled my beverage on my desk, which is not good for my desk. Uh, I'm just drinking, drinking some some apple juice on the side here. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Okay, let me just. All right, I'll, I'll play one more time, and then uh, one or two more time tops, and then we'll just we'll shoot the shit. Chit chat, uh, just talk, I guess, because I my video gameplay is not the greatest today. So, <sighs> boom. I'm not touching any of my pawns. Cheers, cheers to everybody. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Uh, Al Toady, Al Toady says cheers right back at you. Um, so stupid.
Okay. I don't think I don't think that's going to work. And I, I will definitely answer everybody's comments. I'm just, I'm focusing right now really hard. Uh, and because I just said I was focusing really hard, that's exactly what just happened. I should have just sh shut the F up. All right, now it's it's going downhill. We're going downhill from this point forward. Ooh. All right, you know what? Uh, Dasan Akwu says, "Beast, I'm taking a shit." That's that's okay. That's okay to say. That's okay. I mean, I, that was okay, unless Dasan kept saying multiple times over. Okay. Fair. Fair. He, he was saying the same thing over and over, but not it was, the, 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 the frequency of the, him or her repeating that. It seemed like a lot of people commented in between, so... Kyle, Kyle Balzer said, holy shit. Um, I don't think that deserves to be put in time out. I don't know. Like, it, what do we, is that okay? I don't know. I feel like the one guy who was just putting time out, he just said I was taking a shit. He said that twice. And then somebody said, holy shit. And it seemed like their comment was deleted or they were put in time out. I don't think that was fair. I'll, I'll finish this game and then I'll just, we'll shoot the shit and I'll, do my best to help monitor the comments here. All right, I think I think I'm done. I think I'm good. I think we're done. I'm done. I can't play any more video games today. I'm good to go. I think we'll shoot the shit for the rest of the live stream here. Boom. I don't know. Like, as I was playing, like, my focus wasn't there. I was just... I'm over it. I'm over playing video games today. So, I think that's where uh, we will keep it. I will make the screen a little bit bigger here and then... I don't know, shoot, shoot the shit for a little while longer. I'm, I'm sweating. I legitimately am sweating profusely right here, right now. Uh, it's because I need a haircut. But, but cheers to everybody.
I'll focus. I'll focus on some questions and, and comments here. Uh, Hart. Hardy says, Beast, this, the sound makes me go crazy. Uh, are, are you talking the sound of when uh, one of the chess master pieces takes my piece? Uh, or what sound specifically are you talking about? Uh, and again, I just, I, I feel like the, the guy the, who said, holy shit, and said, said, Beast, I'm taking a shit. I don't know. Let, let it slide. Let it slide. Um, it's okay. It's okay to let it slide if, like... Someone's like putting somebody else down or calling someone a piece of shit. Like, like if someone's like, Hey, Dakone 710, you're a piece of shit or something like that. And somebody was trying to legitimately put somebody else down then delete, delete the comment, but, uh, let, let it, let it slide for the most part here. Um, I see you. Chris Underwood says I ordered the six hot balls challenge today. I'm not looking forward to it. Is it worse than the tube of terror? Excuse me, you're just as bad. Um, I would say the Tube of Terror is probably worse uh, slightly than the Six Hot Ball Cheese Puff Challenge by Johnny Scoville. Now, although, they're both pretty ridiculously hot. And, and you know what? When it comes to spice tolerance, like I'm not the greatest hot pepper eater in the world, so... Uh, it's up to you. Like to, like the six hot, hot ball challenge could be easy for you, for all I know. So I don't know. Just maybe you should you should have ordered two, so you can like taste test one of them before you go into the challenge. Chris Underwood. Uh, I see you, Daniel, and I appreciate your patience with me for you to get to your comments. Is are you Irish American? I definitely I would say uh, I definitely have Italian, German, some Irish. Um, and as far as like what other, what other components make me up as a human being, I'm not quite sure, but I do know I have some Irish in my, in my bloodstream here, Daniel, but am I a hundred percent full blown Irish American? No, I'm not. Uh, the lawless one says, I love Marlio, Mar, Marillo, Marillo, Marillo. What does that mean specifically? All right, there's a Spanish journalist named Marilo Montero, uh, who is 55 years of age. I don't know, what, which Marilo do you love specifically? I don't know. Sleeveless Ace says, I want, I want to try the six hot balls. Well, I'm sure if you just type in the six hot ball challenge uh, on Google, sorry, uh, that you'll be able to find it. It's probably probably roughly like 15 bucks maybe to like have it have it shipped to you i don't know I'm not quite sure what the the price is uh nihil geist nihil geist nihil geist says your videos helped me and my brothers while we were deployed in the middle east ate a lot of crazy stuff over there now thanks for the laughs and great content man nihil nihil geist nihil geist jesus thank you uh, I appreciate everything that you've done serving our country here to allow me to continue to do crazy shit. Uh, but I'm glad and it's mind blowing that you were inspired to do crazy shit while allowing me to do crazy shit by you serving our country. Uh, so thank you. I, I appreciate it very much. Um, and I, you know what? I'm sure you probably did eat some crazy shit over there. So uh, hopefully you didn't get too sick. Uh, I was in the Amazon rainforest when I stuck my hands in the bullet, bullet ant gloves and I drank water that was not sealed and bottled probably from the Amazon river because I was so dehydrated that I had diarrhea for two months. So hopefully that didn't happen to you. Um, good sir. Uh, bruh says, have you eaten a cactus? Uh, I've eaten many a cacti, but I've, I have not consumed any cacti today. What is something that you will never eat? Says Cristando. Well, fair enough. Like at lunchtime back in high school, uh, one time I ate all the gum off the bottom of the table. Uh, but for like 20 or 30 bucks, my friend Steve would always hawk loogies into this, into this Gatorade bottle. And I'm like, for 30 bucks, I'll drink the whole bottle. And just like, I could not do it. I could not consume another human being's loogies. So that is something I will never, ever consume. 
Unless it was a life or death situation and it depended on it. Uh, I take the square says, Hey beast, are you a fan of angry video game nerd? Um, haven't, I have not seen angry video game nerds videos. I, I guess. And I know from what I have seen, like scrolling through his page that he's, he loves retro games and stuff. Um, I think he has like multiple power gloves, which I just, I got with power glove for Nintendo. Probably, you know what I would say if I if I had the time to sit down and watch uh, his videos, yes, I would be. I, I would love it. Probably, most likely, because you know, I guess we both love retro things. I take the square. Uh, but again, if it was a life or death situation, I would consume somebody else's loogies. Uh, but besides that, it's not something I, I really ever want to do. Hopefully, in my lifetime, uh, Ryan. Yoon says, are you a fan of My Little Pony Classic? You know what? Definitely growing up as a kid, especially having siblings who played with My Little Ponies. Uh, besides like the late 80s, I really have not been interested or have been exposed to My Little Ponies. I know there's a whole separate community of people that love My Little Ponies, but I am not one of those people. So no, I probably do not like or probably, unless I was high, legally here in the state of New Jersey, would I go back and watch 80s, 80s episodes of My Little Pony? Probably, because it'd probably be amazing. Uh, and I actually want to go back and watch Puff the Magic Dragon, uh, which is a cartoon with little Jackie Paper. Uh, I'm sure that would be mind-blowing watching while high. And also, the Beatles uh, created a movie called The Yellow Submarine, uh, and I was high legally in California on marijuana edibles to where... That was a mind-blowing experience. Much love uh, to everybody. Uh, Jose Torres says, can you say L.A. Beast here? L.A. Beast here. And today, all that I plan on doing is quite simple. And that includes me turning on the air conditioning. Why? Because I'm sweating profusely sitting in this hot-ass room. Feels like a sauna right now. Um... The Lawless One, thank you for your kindness, who loves Marillo. Uh, Dasan Aku says, sorry, Beast, didn't mean to spam. No problem. Don't worry about it. You're fine. Dasan, you're, you're good to go. Don't worry about it. Now, Avery Sutherland, not necessary, but appreciated, my friend. I appreciate you very much, Avery Sutherland. Um, and yep, oh, living, living by volume. If Val's Boom is here... Uh, Val's Boom has a channel called Living Full Volume. Fair. I'll just I'll share that channel. Uh, just in case anybody needs some inspiration. Living Full Volume. Nice. Living Full Volume had 28 subscribers yesterday. Uh, now has 37. Uh, very positive, motivating channel. Check it out. Now, just in case, I know Val's Boom asked me to check out the channel the past li two live streams, so I'll just remember it and just share it for the hell of it. So there you go. Sandus my balls says Rhino. Uh, I, okay, what does Sandus your balls mean? I don't want to sand anybody's balls. Puff, Puff the Magic Dragon was my favorite as a kid says Frankie eighty six. Nice. Um, and you know what? I probably have not watched Puff the Magic Dragon since I was a kid. Uh, we used to rent movies from the library to where one of the movies, it was called The Electric Grandmother. Uh, and like, the, I, I think I've watched it probably last year on YouTube for the first time in like 27 years. And I was like, mind-blowing. Uh, if you haven't watched The Electric Grandmother, check it out. Do I like Super Mario Galaxy, says Mr. UK Beats. I probably would. Uh, like, if, if Super Mario Galaxy is for, like, the Nintendo Switch, I'm still waiting for the price of a Nintendo Switch to go down uh, to where I can, like, purchase one for cheap. I think when the Nintendo Switch first came out, it was, like, three, $400, and I'm like, I will not buy one. 
Unless it's like $100. So I guess I got many, many more years to wait before I play Super Mario Galaxy. But you know what? When I do actually get a Switch, it's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. I'm gonna be late to the party, but uh, better late than never. Oh, it's on a Wii. It's on the Wii. It says Awesome Alex 1028. Well, then fair enough. Uh, we do have a Wii in our family's possession to where I could play Mario Galaxy if I wanted to. I just have to buy the game. Uh, you can emulate all that stuff. Says uh, the Chiefings. Uh, well, you know what? I would not recommend. Even though quite possibly I am utilizing an emulator, I would not recommend using an emulator, uh, just for the record here, uh, because th uh, that, then that's that. Third Martian says the Nintendo Switch is fun. I believe it. And I can't wait to purchase one when it's a little bit cheaper. Andy Moore says, but you're rich, beast. <laughs> am I Am I rich? in experience that I've gotten to experience great cool things uh, since I've started YouTube and my rich uh, in friendship with my good friends that I've known for 30 years yes uh, am I rich in the case that I'm happy spending my days with the ones that I love absolutely but uh, when it comes to being financially rich uh, I'm trying to set that up uh, again, like with YouTubers out there, there's YouTubers that I know that have made millions of dollars. Not not me. <laughs> as crazy as that may seem, not me. Um, but I, I, I have invested my money into commodities, into some certain stocks that I believe in. Uh, and hopefully, three to five years down the line, I can make my millions of dollars too. But you just have to be patient. Um, and, and sure, I, I'm in the process. I need a new car. Uh, we had a, like a leak in the basement that needs to get fixed. Um, so, yeah. I, I do not have the money. Uh, or I, The money that I have saved up for a rainy day, I need to spend on things that will continue to allow me to live here in this house and pay my mortgage. <sighs> Tacone 710 says, Social Blade says I'm worth $2 million. You know what? All these sites here on, on, on the internet, they can tell they can tell you anything. They can say this person is worth this, this person has a net worth of that, uh, but that doesn't mean that person has that money, per se, in, like sitting in their bank account. Uh, for me, uh, as a YouTube content creator, um, I try and strategically spend my money to where uh, it, it will help me benefit my YouTube channel by allowing me to continue to create unique videos. Uh, so I, I reinvest money into my channel here uh, that allows me to write off on my taxes certain expenses. So it's tricky. It's tricky. You gotta, you gotta like spend your money so you don't have to pay taxes on it, I guess. Uh, and my, hopefully the big payoff here for me will be if my commodities such as copper that I'm invested in and or stocks, hopefully those will pay off to where maybe I can take a step back one day and just relax. I don't know if any of that made sense, but thank you for listening. Hell's Kitchen, did I watch it, says Godzilla Train. Uh, when Hell's Kitchen, I don't know, I'm pretty, I don't know if Hell's Kitchen is still on TV no. Only only by watching Gordon Ramsay best of the best clips on YouTube. No, I've never actually watched Hell's Kitchen on TV. Uh, but I have gone back and started to rewatch uh, episodes of Kitchen Nightmares where Gordon Ramsay goes in and tries to help certain restaurants. I think it's an enter it's an entertaining show. Uh, and I feel like one of my favorite shows was Bar Rescue with John Taffer, but like the, I don't know, Bar Rescue has kind of fallen off uh, for me a little bit, so Gordon Ramsay's picking up the pace Matt Ward says I'm too poor to pay taxes and you know what Matt Ward if I was in political power I would eliminate taxes altogether even though that'd probably be a terrible thing and shit would hit the fan financially for the entire world economic market so you know I guess taxes are important but taxes suck at the same time. 
It sucks. Yeah, yeah, it's it stinks. P pretty much on all like I think it's April fifteenth when I pay my taxes. Then in the back of my head, I'm like, I need to start saving to pay my taxes for next year. It's it's ridiculous. I always pay a lot of money in taxes every year. Um. Uh, what am I sipping on? I'm just sipping on some golden, some golden shower apple juice that has hops and wheat and barley in it. Uh, Taylor Kennedy, hello. Uh, I still have yet to do a KFC challenge. Taylor Kennedy says, oh, copper. <laughs> copper is also one of the most abundant and easily mined resources on the planet. Nice. And you know what? Copper is also recyclable. So you can recycle your copper to be reused in future projects, I believe. But uh, because because it's been a bear market, especially for commodities and specifically copper, over the past 10 years, uh, that has decentified people from putting money into trying to find and build new copper mines to pull copper out of the ground. Uh, and I feel, in my opinion... There may or may not be an electric vehicle revolution uh, in the next two to three years, and I feel uh, copper is going to start to decline uh, as there's not going to be enough supply for the demand, which is why uh, I'm strategically placed now uh, with, with certain monies that I have, and I, I've invested in copper because I believe in the future uh, of making some money there. But I think in the meantime, in the short term, I have to be patient I have to be patient with it. Uh, rainy day fun. Keep doing your thing, sir. Appreciate you, says AR Platinum. R Platinum. Thank you. I appreciate your kindness here today. AR Platinum. Um, do people, and my question is, do people buy each other platinum diamond rings for an engagement ring, or is it usually just diamonds? Platinum. I'm going to shut up. AR Platinum. Um, Stupid Universe 731C says, Hey man, been working on a funny short of you. Cool. I can't wait to see it. When you're done. Or unless you already are done, I will share it with everybody here today. Uh, buddy, I bet you can't eat if you're going to KFC and ask for a bucket of skins. Bet you can't eat if you're going to KFC and ask for a bucket of skins. Now you're just saying I'll go to KFC and ask for just the skin of the chicken. Could I, could I eat that? Yes. Uh, but I feel like I'd probably gain 15 pounds of fat, uh, straight up to my torso there. Now I have not had KFC since high school and they used to have these, like these chicken wraps. Uh, so I've not been to KFC since 2002, most likely. Um, uh, uh, JKR triple seven, much love. Appreciate JKR triple seven. Uh, cheers to you, much love. Um, cheers. Mike, Mikey, how's it going? Mike, Mikey, motorcycle. Michael, Michael, motorcycle, and or just Mike, Mikey. What's up? Uh, never had Popeyes. I, you know what? I'm not buying into the Popeyes hype. Uh, as delicious as a Popeyes chicken sandwich may or may not be. I will never, at least for the foreseeable future, buy into the hype. There's like the new Popeye's commercial to where um, they're, they're like, John from California loves the new Popeye's. Uh, and like there's two women in the front seat. He's sitting in the back seat in the middle. And they all take a bite out of the sandwich at the same time. But like instantly, like they like before they could even like they didn't even finish taking the bite. And they're like, hmm. Mmm, like I just want to punch them in the face. Uh, not, not uh, I, I, I'm not gonna punch anybody in the face. But like, how can you tell uh, how good a sandwich is before you like even finish the first bite? That's my question. Awesome, Alex in twenty eight says Popeye's chicken is good. Fine, great. That may be, uh, but I am not going to try it. R. Hughes says churches uh, is good chicken. Uh, fair enough. There was actually a, a Kennedy fried chicken in the Bronx. Uh, that was my drunk food my junior year in college. 
That was good chicken. I, I would go back to Kennedy Fried Chicken in the Bronx. And they have these like chicken fries with hot sauce. Mm, can't beat it. Uh, batters, I did not really watch Ren and Stimpy because growing up as a kid, uh, up in, I think it was up until like 13, our family finally got cable. Uh, so like I missed a lot of great years watching Nickelodeon growing up because we didn't have cable. Uh, JDM Woodworking and Car Detailing. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. And I hope that you're continuing to make awesome cutting boards and wooden keychains, my friend. And detailing cars to perfection. Says, how's it going, beast? My car detailing business... Oh, <laughs> sweet. My car detailing business has been booming. Nice. The, I, cool. Awesome. And whatever you're doing, just keep doing it. Keep Whatever you're doing, just do what you're doing. Uh, have fun. Keep detailing. And I, I, I pray that the boom... Continues to boom for you in your car detailing business. Well, let's get a let's get a hashtag JDM woodworking. Boom. Nice. Uh Bidacula was also 13 uh when when their family got cable. And like when we got cable, I believe uh I watched the real world Boston on MTV. Uh Pretty sure it was the real world. No, which it was real world Seattle, to where. Oh, Stephen punched Irene in the face or slapped Irene in the face, because uh, Irene said some sort of comment to Stephen, which upset him, uh, and then Stephen had hidden Irene's like teddy bear, threw it in the river, stopped the car from moving, and like opened the door and slapped Irene in the face, and I'm like Jesus. Um, was that real? I think that was real world Seattle. I would definitely go back and rewatch some real worlds. Uh, brings me back to the, the good old days when I was growing up in the nineties. Um, and I, that that's when the real world was produced by Bunum and Murray, Mary Alice Bunum and something Murray, uh, to where like the real, real world was actually good. Now, now they just have like Flora Bama shore and stuff like that. Um, Real world New Orleans, like one, the guy died. There's like Jemmy and Jemmy was like dating this guy and he like passed away uh, from real world New Orleans. Mr. Pico Boulevard says veal world. I would go to a world to where all you could eat was veal. Eh, maybe not because I believe veal is baby lamb. I go to a world that every day for dinner you eat steak and it wouldn't affect your health. Uh, breathe easy says road rules was better. Uh, and you know what? I was actually, there, there's the a place in Westwood near UCLA in California called the Westwood brew co. Uh, and I, like, I, I didn't have any friends when I lived in California from 2008 to 2010, but I would like get shit housed, uh, pre gaming. And then I would go down to the Westwood brew co. Uh, and like one time I saw all of the super trooper guys, uh, and then I saw Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn has done well for himself since I saw him last in 2010 at the Westwood Brew Co. But he's like, I was like, no way. You're like, you're from the, the road rules. And he's like, want to get high? And he, like, he pulled out a bag of marijuana. And I'm like, Oop. I'm like, thank you. I appreciate that. But uh, at this juncture, at this time, I do not want to get high. Uh, will, will LA Beast ever go back to Hollywood, says Taco Meat? You know what? Uh, Hollywood, they say Hollywood Boulevard is the boulevard of broken dreams. Uh, and I, when I lived out there, I, I saw many, many of people like not mentally good from, from them trying to break into the industry. And like the first time I was in, in LA from 2008 to 2010, now I was working for Pepsi. I was like busting my ass, making minimum wage. Um, and then the second time I was out there, like when I was making my YouTube videos, I like literally got to experience going to like cool parties on the rooftops of hotels in downtown LA, like meeting celebrities and famous people being on television sets. And like, um, I, 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 I've, I've done many things at Paramount studios. Um, all these famous places. I was on the tonight show with Jay Leno. And like uh, the second time around, I got to experience uh, a lot of cool things. Um, and really just, live life and enjoy life out there. And I feel like I'm blessed and lucky 
uh, to have experienced that cool shit. But as far as me going back to L.A. and Hollywood, I think I'm good. Oh, you know what? Maybe one day if my stocks pay off, maybe I'd buy a house out there as a retirement home or something. Um, man, yeah, no. I think I'm good. I think Hollywood is just it's a melting pot of people like models, singers, actresses content creators and like they're all just trying to make it and it's just blah and i feel here living in new jersey like i i'm with my family and friends uh about 17 miles from one of the greatest cities in the world new york city so i think i'm okay living here for the time being tommy's tacos ryan vrabel yes uh the crazy thing tommy's tacos it was a taco stand near ucla now and then there was a place next to it but that place uh, be, like I always ask the guy at Tommy's Tacos, I'm like, you know, they had dream fries and I'm like, you must make a dream fries food challenge. And that was right when man versus food was kind of taken off on the travel channel. And like the, the owner never did. And then when I moved back the second time in 2013, the place next door, it was actually, it became famous for making this like 15 pound sandwich, fat sales and fat sales was owned partially by turtle from entourage no so i thought that was pretty interesting crazy there 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 are so many crazy ridiculous shenanigans that i participated in living in la Uh, and although it was fun uh, the one thing i definitely like it's pretty cool it's pretty cool walking up to a one of the most popular nightclubs in la wearing jeans and a t-shirt and a backwards hat and sneakers looking like a, a homeless guy and have like having the, the bouncer open the gate and you walk by everybody waiting in line. Uh, but living that lifestyle, going to nightclubs every night, it gets old very fast. Uh, and if you don't have like, if you don't have a job, if you're not like, if you don't have a goal out there, you can get, you can get lost. You can get lost in drugs, booze. Uh, it's, it's a fucking dangerous place. And that's all I have to say about Hollywood. I have not been to Minnesota. I believe uh, that was a question. Thank you. And you know what? When it comes to politics, thank you. Uh, Delete the comment. Uh, And I'm glad your business is booming. JDM, woodworking and card detailing. Uh, Cristando says, night at the Roxbury. Um, One of the, excuse me, one of the places that they met up it was the the Mondrian Hotel on Sunset Boulevard, um, and the bar is called the Sky Bar. And literally, uh, 2008, like I'd graduated college, 2006, worked for a beer company, uh, and in 2008, I was like, I need to change. Uh, so like, I flew to LA for the weekend, and like, I thought that like staying in downtown LA uh, was the place to be because I'd never been there. Uh, no, downtown LA, uh, Skid Row. A lot of homeless people live there. And the hotel I checked into, a homeless man like tried to check into the hotel, and I'm like, shit. And I was like, I am not in the right place here. So the next day, uh, I started calling around. I knew this girl out there, and she like told me some nice hotels. And like the Mondrian, it was like $500 a night. It's like you walk in uh, to the the front entrance, and you have to like pick up this telephone. There's like nobody there. You pick up the telephone and like somebody's there to like give you the rates and everything. And it was like $500 for a room. Um, but yeah, like they, they party at the sky bar or meet up at the sky bar in a night at the Roxbury. And I was just drinking, having fun. I think I paid like $15 for a mint mojito drink uh, at the sky bar one time. And I also met Adam. Adam does like the real world road rules challenges uh, and he was on the season with CT in England, I believe. And I became fr- good, like decent friends with Adam. Skid Row's first two albums kicked ass. Wasn't Sebastian, the guy Sebastian from Skid Row, who was also on like a lot of VH1 shows. Nice. Chris Underwood says, T minus three weeks until I go fishing. But you spelled fishing P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G. Doesn't, doesn't that have a different meaning than actually going fishing for fish? Uh, Adam is very good and smart dude, says Zach Wallace. He is a smart dude. I'm like, hey man, you're Adam from 
the the challenges and like you you know CT you got punched in the face by CT. Uh, and he, he wanted to like start talking about like the shows and strategies and I was like I have no idea about any of that. My bad. Uh, Adam, the one who fought CT. Yes, JC, I, I've met Adam uh, at the Sky Bar at the Montreal Hotel, who somebody mentioned earlier. Uh, Reno Kenosis. Uh, well, you know what? Reno Kenosis says, hey, LA Beast, what are your thoughts on the meat industry struggles? Does that mean fewer eating challenges? Well, you know what? Uh, Reno Kenosis, and I didn't forget you, GG Dragon 101. There was a book that I read in history class in high school. I think it was by Upton Sinclair on the meat industry or something like that. As far as like what are my thoughts about the 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 meat industry struggles today? Are you are you are you, okay? Is there a struggle because uh, there's we're in a recession? There's like inflation. Uh, to where like the the prices of goods have gone up. What struggles are we talking about specifically, Reno Kenosis? Because I'm not quite sure. Uh, if you're still here, I, I will definitely look for your comment here off to the side. Uh, nice. Aha! Uh -huh, not funny. Go enjoy your dinner. Okay, John White is a butcher. He says, there is plenty of meat. It's the harvesters that are behind. Not enough people killing animals. Fair. And, and you know what? Uh, when it comes to the way that a steak gets from the grocery store and like all track that all the way back to where there's a cow in a farmland, uh, I do hope and I pray that the way that animals are slaughtered are done in a humane fashion and i've watched many documentaries about inhumane ways that people butcher animals uh and yet i still would always consume a steak because i love steak so to the harvesters who need to raise more cows to help alleviate the struggles in the meat industry currently, I hope they harvest more cows. And I have no idea what I just said. GG Dragon 101 says, Have you ever played any modern games on stream like Modern Doom or probably something else like that? Are you not into modern games in general? You know what? Uh, GG Dragon 101, I used to play. I think the most recent game I've played is Tiger Woods 2009 for PlayStation 2 and Guitar Hero for Xbox 360. I would definitely play Tiger Woods 2009, uh, but as far as playing like Call of Duty, Red Dead Redemption, Fortnite, I would, yeah, fair enough. Although I appreciate that people love more modern games because this is, this is, a part of their life as they're growing up. I'm most likely stuck in the past to where I, I enjoy playing retro games from my childhood, which bring me back to a better time. They're, they're, to me, what seemed like a better, easier time growing up as a kid. So I do really only play on a stream retro games because that's what I'm set up for at, at, at this time. Ryan says, am I a Willie Nelson fan? I'm a Willie Nelson fan only when he was in we, the We Are The World music video. He, he had a great three seconds of singing uh, in the We Are The World music video. And the other crazy thing is Dan Aykroyd was in the music video for We Are The World. And then I've also I've watched the more recent version of We Are The World. Nothing can, can beat the group of musicians who came together for the first one in my opinion. And fair enough, he says, that is fair of my assessment about Willie Nelson. Uh, Ninja Food Time says, greetings LA Beast, have you ever had ramen, or had a ramen burrito? No, Ninja Food Time, would I have a ramen burrito? Yes. 
I've only had regular burritos, quite honestly, in my entire life, but uh, I like that. I like the combination. I, I can imagine if I had a ramen burrito, I would eat it. Absolutely. Um, I take the square. Okay. Mr. Pico Boulevard says, I want to smell Willie Nelson's bus. Uh, and I looked up it quickly. I thought it said, I want to smell Willie Nelson's ass. Uh, but most likely, on Willie Nelson's tour bus, it most likely smells like marijuana. Allegedly. Because you know what? I've never been on Willie Nelson's bus, so I don't know what it smells like. I take the square, says, have you ever had Jimmy Buffs in West Orange? Jimmy Buffs in West Orange. No. I take the square, what is Jimmy Buffs? And you know what? I can answer that question myself. I can tell you, uh, Jimmy Hoffa. Jimmy Hoffa may or may not have been buried in the old Giants Stadium. Jimmy Buffs, West Orange. Oh, it's, it's a Italian hot dog place. I'll go to straight up to the images. It looks like a fruit bowl. They, they have like a ginormous half piece of round bread carved out. Uh, and they put like chicken, peppers, peppers and sausage. Holy shit. Excuse my language. This guy is standing next to one of these like pepper and sausage bowls, but it's like the size of the guy. Huh. Okay. Well, what would I go to Jimmy Buffs in West Orange, New Jersey? Yes, I would. I take the square. That that looks delicious. So it was suggested a ramen burrito, and then Jimmy Buffs. It's like. It's like a, it's a round whole loaf of bread cut in half, but carved out in the middle, filled with like sausage and peppers. It looks, it looks delicious. It really does. Philip Rivera says, do you listen to Tupac LA Beast? And my question is with Tupac, uh, isn't Tupac's nickname like Macarelli? Or he was like referred to as Macarelli. And I, I learned that quite possibly from the Chappelle show, um, I do enjoy the the Biggie the uh, Biggie Tupac freestyle, to where ooh, I make number runs, I give MCs the runs dripping. When I throw my clip in the AK, I slay from far away. Everybody hit the DECK. My slow flow's remarkable. Peace to Mateo. Now we smoke weed like Tony Montana. Sniff the yayo. That's crazy blunts. Something from avenues to jail cells. Oh my God, I'm dropping shit like a pigeon. I hope you listen and smacking babies at their christening. No, so you know what? Was that the biggie part of the Tupac biggie freestyle? Yes, it was. Um, but yes, I do enjoy Tupac. Even though when it was like, oh, who do you like better, West Coast or East Coast back in 96, 97, I was more of a biggie guy. Um, it's pretty cool. Notorious B.I.G. would always rap about No Strind Avenue in Brooklyn. And when I got my first job in Coney Island, I would always, I would service all the stores up and down Nostrand Avenue. Now, David Fahey says, what is for dinner? That's a good question. But probably leftover uh, chicken from last night. Uh, okay, hold on. Azura Folly Strif. Str Azura Folly Strif, Jesus. Hey, I'll just call you As. As Strife says, Machiavelli, LOL, the historical dude who apparently known for faking his own death. Gotcha. Huh. Fair enough. Gotcha. So I guess that's why uh, Dave Chappelle may have uh, referenced Tupac to Machiavelli. Nice. Interesting. And there's also, yeah, there's also in The Sopranos, Junior Soprano, uh, fell down the stairs or something. He had to go to the hospital. Uh, and like the agent was putting his um, house arrest thing back on his leg. And like the, the agent's name was like McLuhan. And she's like, so you're Agent McLuhan. Or something like that. But the, the guy McLuhan is known for writing an article about a guy who was bald and looked like an eagle or something. I don't know. To which Junior Soprano looked like a bald eagle. Nickelback is nice, says bruh. I can't argue with that. Nickelback has made a lot of money creating music to where they have 
played concerts and people enjoy their music, so I can't disagree. Even though I don't like Nickelback, that Nickelback is nice. Uh, Brian Haran. Can we expect an L.A. Beast uh, Ice-T collab next weekend in Atlantic City? Probably not. I think... Like all the, the, the people that are putting on Mob Movie Con and Sopranos Con, uh, they have so much on their plate to like, there's there, there's a lot of great talent, actors and actresses uh, from the Sopranos, from different classic mob movies such as Goodfellas, uh, I think the movie Gotti or something like there's a reunion for Gotti, a Bronx Tale, people are going to be there. Um, yeah, I think pretty much all I'm going to do, <laughs> I'm just going to show up. And, like, I have to eat cannolis uh, for the cannoli contest. And then, like, I'm going to stay out of the organizer's way, uh, pretty much. They, they have so much on their plate they need to get done and manage all this talent in one place uh, that most likely there's not going to be an Ice-T L.A. Beast collaboration. Probably not. Uh, nice Try Boy says, How fast can you tie your shoes? Pretty fast. There's actually... Uh, there's actually a magic trick to where you can instantly ch tie your shoes, but also, um, I, I was like trying to think of like different YouTube ideas to make a compilation of like doing crazy party tricks or something like that. Uh, which is, you know what? That's not a bad idea. I'm going to piece. <laughs> that's not a, that's a decent idea, even though it'd, it'd be a pain in the ass to do, but, uh, 25 party trick ideas L A beast and I'm just going to write a few ideas uh, alright done an idea you know what thank you thank you I appreciate uh, okay hold on You know what? Nice, nice try, boy. Uh, asked how fast can I tie my shoes? Uh, there is like a trick to where you can like loop, swoop, and boom, it's done within like one second. Uh, but thank you. you. You gave me an idea. You, you started the the gears grinding in my brain here uh, to maybe come up with a, a completely random different video than I was gonna do. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, do I listen to Bob Marley? Says Philip Rivera. Not particularly. Like, it, like, do I sit down and put on like Bob Marley records? No. Uh, but, but, some. I would say the Fugees. The Fugees have some songs that were. I guess they sampled Bob Marley's music. I don't know. Would I, if I was high, listen to some more common Bob Marley songs and enjoy them? Probably, most likely, yes. Uh, I'm 37 years of age. Uh, indeed, William Garvey. Ryan Yoon says, Did you get the new Xbox Series X console from last year? No, Ryan Yoon. The last console that I have purchased... I purchased a Super Nintendo and like 50 games from eBay back in 2014 or 2015. So no, I, I do not have any new Xbox. The last Xbox I owned was an Xbox 360, and I still have it down in the basement. Duncan Brunst says, oh, they sample everything. No original Fuji's music, plus Lauren Hill is a whatever. Um... What's the song like? I used to be ten, but now I'm. Oh. We used to be number ten, but now we number one. My my mic on my arm, or something like that. I don't know. Fair, you know what? Fair enough. Whether or not the Fugees sampled all their music, I still enjoyed that original Fuji CD, which came out in like '95. I used to listen to that all the time. The Fugees kill me. Oh, kill me softly. Uh, okay, the Fugees kill Mr. Pico Boulevard softly, but Nickelback kills Mr. Pico Boulevard loudly. 
Nice. Touche. I appreciate the thought there uh, for typing that out and for me reading it. Jackson Savage says, what was your favorite video to film? That's a good question. I don't know. L A Beast. Um The question was what was my favorite video to film? You know what? I was pretty excited uh, when I filmed the video specifically titled Idiot Loses His Toe After Butter Pranking Himself. Um, and yeah, like that, like that was back in 2012, but there was a video that went viral where uh, this one roommate would prank his other roommate by putting butter on the kitchen floor and then calling the landline telephone in the kitchen. Uh, the roommate would come running in, slip and like knock the trash over. Um, but yeah, like I, like I was like, okay, well, I want to try and make uh, a butter slipping video, but instead of having somebody prank me, I'm just going to prank myself or whatever. I'm just going to put butter on the floor and see if I can run through it without falling. Uh, but like when I slipped and fell and nearly sliced off my toe, and I was like, I have to go to the hospital. And then I like, I, I got up, I, I was like going towards the camera to, to turn it off. But like something clicked in my head. I'm like, I'm like, you just filmed a viral video, motherfucker. And I'm like, hell yeah. Uh, so like, even though like my toe was barely hanging on there, I was like, I just, I just made a viral video. And that was my goal uh, when I set out filming that video. I'm like, yes. No. So I would say idiot loses his toe by pranking himself. Uh, was one of my favorite videos to film. Although there there are many favorite videos that I've had. Uh, does that stunt work with margarine? I def I think I used like I. Ooh, I think I uh, I may have used. I can't believe it's not butter. I can't remember which specific butter product I used, but whatever it was, it was slippery, and I would only imagine margarine is just as slippery. Sure. Justin Freeman says, I'm tripping acid watching your videos. Well, hopefully, Justin Freeman, uh, you're doing so legally and responsibly, and hopefully you have people there to make sure that allegedly your trip is a safe trip, my friend. Buckle up. Damon Porter says, how many world records do you have? Uh, Guinness World Records, if somebody, if you achieve a Guinness World Records title and somebody breaks it, they do not tell you if somebody broke your record. Uh, the last time I checked, quite possibly, I still have eight. Eight Guinness World Records titles, which may include uh, Google. Go to Guinness World Records, and then you go to the site. And then you go to search. Uh, nope, search, and then I search my name, okay, 